What's up, Lake of the Ozarks? It's your guy, Will Holtz, with Lake TV, bringing you our latest nonprofit of the month presented by Hy-Vee and Osage Beach and Jefferson City. And this month, we get to focus on the changing table. And although they don't have a storefront or a brick and mortar, we did get the founder, Jessica Rozier, to agree to meet us right here at the Old School Commons, where they've got their warehouse to tell us a little bit more about this incredible nonprofit. All right, so as promised, Jessica Rozier, the founder of The Changing Table, agreed to meet us here at the Old School Commons where they have their warehouse and to tell us more about this program. So Jessica, first, super excited to get to meet up with you and super excited to find out a little bit about the history behind this program. So we started doing diaper drives in 2016 and we found out that diapers are not part of any kind of government program. So. I can't imagine the thought of a child having to sit in a soiled diaper. So we started doing diaper drives and giving to local charities and that has evolved into um, the changing table. So yeah, 2016 and 17 we, we did the drives at hy V and we gave it to local clinics and local schools and they kept coming back to us and telling us about how much of a need it really is and how much their families were really served and dependent on that. And so one day in November, I looked at my husband and I said, we're gonna make this a nonprofit. <laughs> so I filled out the paperwork and um, here we are. So I wanna focus on a little bit about the process because it's a little unique to some, yes. some giving organizations where the families actually wouldn't be able to come to you guys and get them directly. You facilitate those through partners in the community. Talk about that process. Right, so we don't give directly to families because I don't feel like that's being as effective with our, our diapers as we can be. Just giving somebody diapers doesn't help them out of the situation that they're in. So um, we follow the guidelines set by the National Diaper Bank Network and we only work with community partners. So we work with schools, clinics, food banks, shelters, foster care agencies. They come to us, get diapers, and kind of add another tool to their toolbox so that they can better serve the families that they're already working with. That way we know that our diapers are going and being a hand up and not a handout. That's awesome. So how about the funding? Because I know diapers aren't cheap being a new dad myself. No, it's one of your not. biggest expenses every month. So where does your guys' funding come from? So we do two big fundraisers every year. We do a golf tournament um, in September. And then in December, Signature Realty Group helped us start a, they do a Facebook challenge where they sponsor diapers and then they challenge other businesses. And um, that took off. And businesses like that they, we get their, um, their logos go on the diapers. And so local businesses are a big part of why we have all of these diapers. They uh, will sponsor diapers, get their logos out. And then at the end of the year, we have a program where we can go back and tell those businesses specifically where their exact donations went. And then you talked about this QR code and every one that's given out is scanned and like you said, so you can track and show yes. all your partners, it's pretty neat. I really like being able to go back to our donors and say, you know, at the end of the year, instead of saying, we served a thousand families, I like going and saying, hey, Polylift Boat Lifts, you helped, you know, 200 and whatever specific families. They know exactly where their donations went. They know what counties it went to. They know um, no specifics of the families, but they do know how many families they served. Man, that's great. And that makes it so much more real because you know, there's so many things that you give donations to throughout the year, and you know it does good, but you don't know right. exactly how and where, so right. that really gives you that hard number. Now, yeah. today in 2021, what is your guys' biggest need at this point in time? Right now, our biggest need, I would say, is helping us spread the word about diaper need. Education about diaper need is big, and then also helping educate families about where they can go to receive help. Um, all of the, the partners that we work with and where they can get the diapers. Um, and then also, of course, donations. Um, we have, a, um, on our website, you can do monthly donations, spread out your donation through the year. Um, and then businesses can also sponsor diapers like, like these. So those are our two biggest needs. That's amazing. And so if somebody wanted to contact you guys or find out more, maybe even find out where the next drive is or how they can get plugged in, where would they get that info? So our website says, mostly up to date. Um, it's www.changingtable.org. Um, typically our events are there, donations, volunteer opportunities that we do have throughout the year, diaper need facts, all of that can be found on our website. You can also contact us there. But 
Um, we're also fairly active on our Facebook page. I'd say that's where, where we have most of our information and it's um, The Changing Table. That's awesome and I don't want to give away too much before I let you go. You talked about you know when this started in 2016 and then when you guys turned into a 5013C a few years later and it's growing and you're looking at doing other things through this warehouse and through these connections moving forward. Can you give us a tease maybe on what that yes. could be? So we did just start um, a period poverty program which is very exciting because we have um, it's one in five. It's one in five girls miss school, sports, or work due to lack of access to period products, and that is unacceptable. So we work with the. We started a pilot program in May, um, which was funded by Kiwanis, where we g did period products at three local schools, and so we are um, expanding those. Actually, Hope House is getting a big delivery today, but. Um, we're expanding that program, which I'm excited about. And Hy-Vee donated all of their breastfeeding supplies to us. Um, that is something that I am very passionate about, so I'm working on developing a program for that. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see. That is awesome. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for your time and for your efforts you. with The Changing Table. Guys, get behind this program, plug in online, and get your checkbook out. And they make it super easy. You can go online and even sign up for a monthly plan where it'll take it right out of your checking account. On behalf of Jessica Rozier and The Changing Table, I'm William Holtz, and this has been our latest Nonprofit of the Month presented by Hy-Vee.